My name is Dan Gill, and the tech is at the 2012 Career Fair at Johnson. And we're going to go in and we're going to see what's, what's going on, um, what, the, what, the, what the companies are doing, what the students are doing, and also see how the fact that inauguration is happening right over there affects what's going on in there. Johnson and the line comes all the way back to the to the to the rock wall. It's actually it's actually pretty pretty long. We'll see. We'll try to talk to a couple of people here and see what's going on and how long they've been waiting here for. This is the turnout right now compared to what's been go, go, happened last few career fairs have been to. Well, certainly, it's much more than last spring. There was really no line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out of experience in the past. Uh, uh, last fall, I came in like at 9, 10 a.m. So there was barely any line. It's pretty crazy right now. Ah, oh, awesome. So, do you, what do you what do you guys expect to get out of this career fair? Hopefully, an internship. So that's the aim. At least, simply get a better perspective of what's out there. Yeah. Get a better perspective of the company than you know. Get myself. Get people on my resume and mm -hmm. get myself out there. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, can we get your names? Marcel Williams. George Arden. All right. Cool. Thanks, guys. So, how long have you been at Career Fair today? Uh, how long have I been here? Yeah. Or, I think I've been here about uh, since 10.30. Oh, uh, cool. So, it's about 10 minutes longer than expected because we have this line out in front. Uh-huh. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going on pretty strong. It's, uh, it's definitely tough to stand on your feet for five hours in the day and mm -hmm. keep talking to people so yeah. you smile on your face. But, <laughs> You know, yeah. it's actually fun because you get to meet a lot of really interesting people, uh -huh. a lot of MIT grads who are working in a lot of various industries, mm -hmm. uh, and you get to see exactly, you know, where people have been successful after they've graduated from MIT. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, so do you feel like you've been getting what you wanted to get out of it so far? Yeah, I've definitely been getting what I've wanted to get out of it. It's a little bit tough because people tend to typecast you based on your major. Okay. Like if I'm a physics major, so people tend to assume that as a physics major, I don't have programming experience. Uh -huh. But based on you know sort of research internships and some opportunities, I mm -hmm. do have programming experience that I have to convince them of, talk to them about. Yeah. So it's tough to break the mold of sort of your major, mm -hmm. and it's also tough to break the mold of MIT, I guess, because people assume that you are only looking for programming internships. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, you might be looking for, say, more on the aeronautical, astronautical side mm -hmm. of, say, Boeing or something. Yeah. Like their software. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, are you also aware that inauguration events are happening today for President Ryan? I am aware that inauguration events are happening today. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, I think MIT students' priorities lie greater with the future uh -huh. and less with the inauguration. Uh, it I, going, can, can we hug on camera? Is that yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Can we also display the difference between course six and course fifteen? <laughs> course eight. Yes, course eight. I got it. So we've got Jelly in here. Yeah. He, uh, he's very into entrepreneurship and technology startups. I like technology. <laughs> I think Jeff, who fucking loves business and trading, and gave more. I guess so. It's sort of very interesting. I'm actually interested a little bit more in trying to figure out aerospace and engineering. But we anyway. both want to die together in space. Yeah. In each other's arms. I don't know if this is a perfect <laughs> <laughs> It's a con joke. <laughs> you want to ask us both some questions? Oh, yeah, you're going to interview us? Yeah, he's in Yeah, yeah so, so how, how long have you been at the career fair, Jelly? Uh, literally like 10 minutes, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 
and I'll talk to your stripe. And that's the only person that I wanted to talk to on this floor. So <laughs> well, how, except for now. How do you, how do you like it so far? What like do you feel like they wanted they said what you wanted to hear out of them? Yeah, I feel like I know a lot more about like what's going on. I remember last year, like as a freshman, just kind of being like really confused and not knowing a lot of the companies. This year, like I walk around, I pretty much like know. I feel like most of the companies that are here. So that's kind of I feel a lot more. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like I have to go and talk to everyone. Be like, uh -huh. what does your company do? You know. So. Uh -huh. so like, here's here's this question. So do you feel like MIT adequately prepares you to be out here in an environment like this and talking to companies in this atmosphere. Oh yeah, not even a question. I, I mean like this uh -huh. is like for me especially like this is literally just rush but with like companies instead, right? Like it's the same <laughs> stuff. Like you're just trying to get people to like you and put a little gold star on your resume and then eventually get an interview. I feel like MIT prepares you perfectly for this. Freshman year I definitely was like a little bit lost and confused, but after a year at MIT like this is this baby case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think also um, MIT prepares you really well for being confident technical. It's like yeah. you're not afraid like oh like are they gonna ask me like a question like can't like answer like you can answer all the questions. Uh, it's more of like a personal thing. Like you can connect with the computer on a personal basis. Yeah, at this point, like I feel like I could probably pass any technical test here. It's mostly just like making sure that like it's also a personality. Thing. All right, cool. And I'll, ask, I'll kind of repeat the inauguration question again because we kind of got to have to okay, because okay. we got. So, do you do you guys are aware the inauguration stuff is happening today? Um, how do you how do you feel about um, about the conflict? Are you guys thinking of going to inauguration? Or are you guys pr definitely prioritizing career fair over that? I got actually a little bit frustrated because yesterday I remember like trying to figure out like what the like inauguration like events that were going on. Uh huh. And. All that there were were like a bunch of like 40 and 50 year old like alumni that were like you know eating food together. I don't know. Like to me, like the inauguration should be like a little bit more student focused and should not happen on the same day as like career fairs. It's like that's it's like a like, like student. Day, you know, like yeah, like hot field day was like very like student focused, right? Like Roth's inauguration has been very. I feel very like disconnected from it. Mm -hmm. It was just calm, right? Raphael Wright. Like yeah. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys. Sweet. Thank you, Stanley. All right, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Mm -hmm. know the inauguration stuff is happening today? Yes. Yes. Are you guys planning to go to any of that or is career fair take precedence? <laughs> oh no, this is on record. I actually didn't know that it was <laughs> Okay, um, well I think career fair um, takes precedent for me today uh, because I'm graduating soon. So, mm -hmm. um, but I wish our new president all the best. I yeah. think um, I'm very excited about it. Yeah, I'm excited about him as well. I think I'll do a great job. But career fair is kind of more, for, uh, more important for us because we're kind of doing it. Yeah. Alright, cool. Well, thank you for your time. So, how do you guys like career fair so far? Everybody is looking for course 6, but other than that, it is pretty great. Uh-huh, awesome. So, did you did you expect there to be more um, companies looking for course seven things, or did you expect it to be mostly course six? Not really. I went to career fairs last year or two, and I pretty much expected it to be like this. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, there, there are, are, are there are there some bio companies that you have talked to? Yeah, there are. You just have to spend a very long time looking for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're so, kind of all mixed in with everything else. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like do you feel like since you're course seven, do you feel like it's a viable experience for you to still go to career fair? I think it is. Um, even if I don't manage to land an internship or anything, it's still a good experience. of your bag of swag. Oh, you want to okay? check it out? Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah.
think I got some Oracle. Uh, there's a Athena Health Frisbee. Frisbees are good. I'm actually missing a couple of cups from the dorm, so I got like four of these. Here. I'm just here um, for the free swag, but uh, after I'm planning on maybe considering internships. Oh, nice. So getting me ready for next year. All right, cool. This and is what I'm supposed to do. Well, hey, yeah. Like whatever, whatever you want to make of it, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm looking for people to work for. Me. Uh -huh. So the students have been great. Uh -huh. A lot of freshmen here, though. I'm gonna say. That's not, I didn't expect that. Uh -huh. And then you just come and take your stuff, and then I never see them again. Uh, so do you, do you feel like, do you feel like you've seen a lot of people that are just here to take the free swag, or do you actually, do well, you feel like you've had meaningful interactions? I've had meaningful interactions with most people. Uh -huh. A lot of the freshmen are here to learn about things as well as take free swag. Okay. But yeah, I think most people are